Welcome to another exercise video from 919clinic.co.uk. I am John Ostrovskis. Today I'm demonstrating an eccentric exercise program for medial elbow problems. That is climber's elbow, the golfer's elbow, which is pain coming from the common flexor origin, which is on the inside of the elbow around here. Note that this exercise program is not for tennis elbow, which is pain around this area. I will be demonstrating that exercise program at a later date. I am now demonstrating the eccentric program for golfer's or climber's elbow. As I mentioned before, that's for pain on the inside of the elbow, which is around here. Now what eccentric means is effort on lengthening. And that's where we want most of the effort of the exercise to be on the lengthening component of the muscles that arise from here. During the phase where the muscles are shortening, you will see that we're trying to rest them as much as possible. And so when we start the exercise, I'm going to be demonstrating with two kilograms. For this, some people will need to use up to seven kilograms, but no more. So realistically, between two and seven kilograms, we'll describe that later. So in holding the dumbbell, you will hold it, not in the usual manner like this, but with the thumb underneath. From that posture there, the non-exercise hand, the non-injured hand lifts. So the left arm there, the injured arm, is not using any effort whatsoever in raising the weight. The right hand, the assisting hand, goes away. The left hand lowers on its own taking five seconds to go all the way down. And that's what we mean by eccentric effort on lengthening. The other hand comes in, does all the lift. The exercise hand does all the lower, taking five seconds to go all the way down. When you get to this point, you do not do that. Keep the grip simple and firm at that point. The usual dosage of this exercise is three sets of 10 twice a day for five days a week. The important thing after your three sets of 10 is that there is some fatigue or some mild ache or some mild symptoms in the elbow or the forearm. To achieve this, one will often need to experiment with the actual amount of weight. In this case, we've got a two kilogram weight. Most people will start at two to three kilograms to achieve this. We have had people, especially some stronger climbers who've needed to use up to seven kilograms, but you will never start at seven kilograms. You'll always start maximum two to three. And then if you're not feeling that fatigue, which each successive session, build up your weight by one kilogram per session, till you start to feel this fatigue through here. Now, if you don't actually own any dumbbells, what you can do is you can use a carrier bag or a bag, and this can become my weight. So I'll need to weigh this so that I know that it's three or four kilograms. The problem with using a bag is obviously the thumb. Make sure the thumb is held under. Make sure you comply with that direction as to the positioning and that becomes a suitable weight as long as you know what weight this whole complex is. The other variable, one can also use TheraBone. Again, it's not quite as good. It, it's, it's more difficult to manipulate, but you can see that you can actually use that if you don't own dumbbells. The important thing is you get started with this exercise program as soon as possible. Usually in, con in conjunction with this program, ice bathing will help. Now for a typical ice bath, you will get a washing up bowl, or in this case, a large lunch box. Fill that with water, eight to sort of 15 ice cubes, elbow in, and the usual timing for this will be 25 minutes once or twice a day. Thank you.